Hi everyone, day 20 of the quarantine here in California. So I'm just kind of setting up my solar collection system for my swimming pool to heat it up solar. And uh, just gonna kind of show you what I got going here. I've been working on this for about five years or so. I had a nice system set up on top of my awning in my backyard. Went up to the awning, went around the tubes, and then back down into the pool. But that house burned down in 2017. So I've started over. Got into this house about six months ago. Pool's been in here almost a year. Had to be in here in construction. So um, as you saw, that was the end of the line. But starting over here, there's a lot of videos out there showing different parts of it. I kind of wanted to try to get a good one with everything going in it. And I could add some stuff to it if you guys need some more information. But starting off as a one-third horsepower pump, electric pump that just goes on every half an hour. So at 12 o'clock noon, it goes off. Stays on for five minutes, turns off at 12.05, goes back on at 12.30, off at 12.35, back on at 1, and so on. So as you see, the line goes down the fence line. Ideally, it'd be nice to have that in the sun, but the backyard here is small, so I need to run along the fence line and not have a tripping hazard out here. So as you see, the line goes along the fence, and I have a 5x10 equipment shed that I had to put up for all my pool equipment so I decided to utilize the top of that. So right there on the right you can see the tube going in. It goes around 350 feet of 5 8 inch tubing and then back out there on the right just strapped down with two metal straps. I've seen where the guys do the screws in between each one of them or the zip ties that seem to take hours. This, the weight of it, just hold it down and then there's two straps. I have no issue with it. So it comes back down there. And then I usually have this running right back here, and then the line goes right back into the pool. But I just added another little smaller system over the weekend, so I got the uh, tubing coming along the grass line here, and then going to my new box I just built. It's a 4x4 four four box, about 150 feet of 5 8 inch tubing, with a glass window that I made a frame for. Use that, came free, so couldn't beat it. The whole box and the system on top of the shed cost me about 125 bucks. You figure the 5 8 inch tubing, 500 feet of it, comes about $50. You got the pressure treated wood, comes to about $30. Plywood comes to about $25. And uh, the metal straps comes about 5 or 6 bucks for a 25 foot, which I'll show you here. So, and as it heats up in there, like I said, that is about 170 degrees inside there right now. Outside temperature, 70 degrees. And then it goes out past there and it comes out at about 130 degrees so like I said it goes off every half an hour for five minutes on a timer and is basically maintenance free I didn't want to hook it up to my regular system because I didn't want it going all day and all night so um, and then I also have a heater a gas heater inside my unit so as you see with this lid I got it popped up in the back so during the summer when I don't need it or during the winter when it's raining there's hinges on it I just pop that back down and the water runs off towards the fence line drains out that way but inside here I got a 400,000 BTU heater um, ran that for a couple of days about a month ago or so when some good weather came out and it cost me about 25 bucks a day to run so I ran it for three days raised the temperature probably about 20 22 degrees a couple days later you know you put the cover on the pool every night to keep the heat in but a couple, you know, a couple weeks later, it had dropped all the way back down with these 30 and 40 degree nights. So, um, works out well during the summer. I'll probably use it to maintain it if I don't use my solar system. But last year during construction, I had the lid on, the cover on the pool most of the time. Outside temperature was anywhere from 85 to 90 degrees. Inside the pool was 94 to 95 degrees every day. So, at this point, I don't think during the summer I'm going to have to heat it up at all. Probably actually have to put a fountain on it to cool it down. So. Um, again, starts over there, runs along the fence, up into the solar collector on the roof, back down, along here, into my new box, and out into the swimming pool. Also put a little list of the items that you need here, so everybody seems to always ask those questions, but basically you need the pressure treated wood to make the frame, then you use a 22 30 seconds plywood and then as you see the metal strapping is like six bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot so that's I mean I've seen guys use the straps or the zip ties but this was so fast and then the 
you might need a couple connectors and then screws to screw it all together so pretty basic system like I said mine came probably about 125 bucks or so with the miscellaneous stuff added on to it but, um, over two weeks it's gonna heat it up probably 20 to 25 degrees so um, it's pretty efficient but the pool is a 12 by 26 fiberglass pool 7200 gallons um, nice little system but uh, the pool cover at night actually saves a lot of the um, energy in it too so um, but I'm hoping since the kids are getting restless in the house that over the next couple of weeks I can start using it but right now it is a little chilly I'm gonna manually turn the pump on here so you guys can see the system but as it comes out over there it's going through the system I just plugged it in and it's already starting to shoot out over here so come around to it box obviously as I start to build up for the next couple weeks to get into a good temperature I'm gonna, I'll have this box out here but during the summer I would never have a box here on my steps for my porch going down to the pool and this will actually be the first summer that I'll be able to use the pool so this is the setup but as you see I just got my little bird holding that kind of got a little bit above the cover so every night I don't have to move it cover goes automatically shuts that way I don't have to move the hose everything's pretty well self-efficient so just got to open the pool cover in the morning um, hopefully I covered everything if you guys have any questions or comments put them below please subscribe if you like it like I said it's my first time YouTube video just trying this out and hopefully it helped you thank you